Good morning. Uh, for those of you who have been keeping up with me on uh, on Twitter, um, I've been working hard on getting my book finished. Um, I got I've been getting a lot done, and uh, uh, with this, uh, what I worked on today and part of yesterday, I thought it was a good idea to share it uh, share it now. Uh, first, uh, I think it's important to note, and I say this in the book. Um, that there is no right or wrong way to lead worship. There's just uh, more or less successful ways, you know. So when you're when you're leading worship, don't feel like you have to do it a certain way. Um, as long as it's biblical and it's uh, under the parameters of your church, it really shouldn't. Uh, sorry, of uh, your church building, you know, like for instance, the structure of it. I'm not talking about the church as the body. I'm talking about the church as the building. Um, as long as it's under the parameters of how your how your congregation does their structure, um, it's really shouldn't be seen as you know oh, I can't do that you know. Um, uh, I wanted to also share something else that uh, that um, I think it's important to know as a, as a worship leader because it's really the heart. Um, you have to as the worship leader find your method. The church's spirit and the Lord's voice. Now, what do I mean by that? Let me go into that. Uh, first, you must find your method. You know, um, there is no right way to do worship. You have to find out how you want to do it. Do you want to play an instrument and sing while you lead? Do you want to lead with a guitar or a piano? Uh, do you want to... Um, try to do songs exactly how the original artist did them or do you want to try to do them your way do you want to do songs that you wrote that you wrote or do you want to do only do songs that the church already knows you know these are these are it's not a question of theology you know is this biblical it's a it's it's a question of which of course everything we should we do should be biblical that's not what i'm getting at but it's a question of what's your preference your own methodology you know how do you want to do these things um, as long as it's not, you know, unbiiblical or against your church's structure to where you're going to cause problems, you know, find out what your method is. That's one thing that I really emphasize in the book is just because I wrote it in a book doesn't mean that you have to do it that way. You know, uh, you, can, you can just simply use what I write as a guideline to help you find out the way you want to do it. Even if you read my entire book and only find one thing that you like, that's one thing that helps you lead worship in your method, you know. Um, then also, uh, secondly, find the church's spirit. Um, I'll give you an example of this. Do you have a lot of older people in your congregation, congregation who like hymns? Then do hymns. Do you have a mixed group? then lead worship for a mixed group. Do you have a younger audience that likes heavier stuff? See what I'm saying? Find out what the church's spirit is and then try to lead to that. And I go a lot more in depth in the book with this, but I just wanted to give you a little a little taste of what I'm working on and, and for those of you who aren't going to buy the book, uh, that you still are able to get some of the concepts that I talk about. Um, and obviously you can explore on this one on your own, you know. Uh, and then lastly, um, follow the Lord's voice. Um, this is where you're doing worship and you're like, I don't think we should go into, be going to this song, or I think we should go to this song instead, or I think we should go ahead and stop, or I think we should drag this on longer, or you know, um, I feel like I need to say this to the congregation, or um, uh, you know, different stuff like that. It's it's knowing where you're supposed to be going by hearing the Lord's voice. So as a worship leader, you have to do do those three things. You have to find your method, uh, make it your own. You know, when you're when you're in a ministry or when you're when you're in a job or anything like that, make it your own. You know, uh, and I'm not talking about once again. I'm not talking about being unbiblical. I'm not talking about being unchristian. And I'm not talking about not following the rules that your church has put in order. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about finding out the best way for you to do the job that God's called you to. Um, and then find the church's spirit 
um, how how to best fit the audience and hear the Lord's voice. Now, a little side note, and I go into this again in the book, but when I say find the Lord's voice, I'm not saying step on other people's toes. You know, like uh, some worship leaders feel like they have to say something to start the worship, or they have to stop in the middle of worship and say something, and I'll get more into that into the book, but point being, you're not the preacher. So you shouldn't feel compelled to preach. Uh, you're not the leader of the prayer chain. So you don't have to feel compelled to uh, lead off in the prayer. Do your job. You are the worship leader, so do your job. Um, but with that being said, there are many occasions where the Lord will direct you to say something and or to do something. And as long as you have the freedom to do that, um, you know, where, where the pastor's okay with it, or pastors, however your church works, um, as long as it's not causing a problem, uh, go for it, you know. And not to say that we should put uh, man's needs above God's, but there comes a point where in ministry you have to just let some things go. Um, and you can't make big deals about everything. But once again, I'm getting off topic, and this is really going into stuff that I cover in the book. So I just wanted to give you a basic... A uh, basic little uh, little lesson. Uh, I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video. I've been work working really hard on this book. Uh, plus I'm in school and stuff. But uh, excuses aside, I thought it was time to upload an another video. So what I really want you to take away from today's lesson is number one. Uh, there is no right or wrong way to lead worship. Only more or less successful ways. And you have to find out what is successful for you. Um, also, um, a little, another side note, I know I'm, I'm keep doing side notes, but another side note on success. Analyze what you call success uh, in your ministry. Analyze that. Uh, I'm not really going to go into that because I go into that in the book. But analyze what you're calling success in your ministry. So uh, that's number one. Number two, find your method. Number three, uh, uh, find the church's spirit. And number four, find the Lord's voice. Uh, I hope this video has been uh, beneficial to you. Uh, leave comments or questions below. Uh, be sure and like it if you liked it. Share it with others who you think might benefit from it. And uh, until next time, God bless.